are you guys looking for ideas to make money online? Well, you came to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you four awesome ways to make money and online. Definitely keep on watching to find out how. I know that many of you guys are pretty much sitting at home, maybe unemployed, or you are working but you're not making that much money you're a low income earner and you're looking for ways to fundraise or to make some extra money okay i get your frustration i was there as well so let me paint a quick picture for you so last year i was unemployed and i was a student okay pretty much studying my pgce so i needed ways in order to fundraise some funds for me to be able to move abroad because I had secured a job as a guest English teacher. So where was I going to get the money from? Because I couldn't get a traditional loan. I did not have the funds to finance my move abroad. So I needed to come up with ways in order to fundraise that money. And I know there's a lot of you guys who are also probably sitting at home looking for ways um, and ideas in order to fundraise money or to make money online so that you can fund your move abroad or you can fund whatever goal it is that you personally have. So I would like to share with you guys the ideas I used to fund my move abroad. Idea number one, tutoroo. Yes, tutoroo is pretty much a platform which I've been using for years guys i think around 2019 i joined this platform and i've been making money occasionally through this platform so when i finally secured a job to come teach in south korea i thought to myself how will i be able to fund uh, paying for my documents or applying for my visa etc so i was like okay there's tutoru i mean i could just use that platform and try to get more clients on the platform so I used that to my advantage that I already had a profile and every time somebody needed lessons in my home language, Tutoru always referred them to me. So I was tutoring Chivenda online. With Tutoru, you can pretty much make around 900 to like 1.5 in a week. Okay, it depends on how many days you work. You can pretty much work like two days, three days. That all depends on you, okay, and your time availability. So you can maybe have four classes in a week and then you can charge up to 300 rand, guys, for a class, like for an hour and a half or an hour. Uh, class duration so imagine maybe you have four classes and you're charging them 300 rands for a class that's already 1.2 that you just made from tutoru in a week and guess what those clients are probably going to be there for like months to come because it's going to take them that long to learn the language right and pretty much they're going to be learning basics to start off with so it's something that's lucrative and i feel like you guys can definitely try that i'll definitely put the link to sign up on tutoru in my description box down below okay another tip keep your prices a bit low in that way um more clients will probably come to you because um, yours are lower than the competition basically all right so i will also make an in-depth video on tutoru and how you guys can also um, want to sign up and start tutoring on the platform okay so idea number two i'm sure you guys know this already but you can definitely sell items that you don't need maybe you have a bicycle that you're no longer gonna be using or you have a machine or you have some jewelry that you no longer need guess what you can actually sell them on Gumtree or Facebook Market. I found this to be very, very helpful in my time of need. Like, okay, I was pretty much in the process of moving. I saw that I'm not going to be needing my um, what's this, industrial machine. So I was like, okay, why not put it up on Facebook Market? Or I could put it up on Gumtree and see um, if there's any interest for my machine. And guess what guys oh my goodness my dms were popping okay a lot of people were inquiring about my machine so meaning there was a demand for it okay so always try to put up things that you feel has value and that there might be a demand for it those sell very quickly so i put it up there it got a lot of inquiries and guess what i managed to sell it like this okay and i made some money that i used to be able to pay for my um what's this, medical exams and also for my visa application that money really assisted me in my time of need okay so it's very easy if you have a facebook account there's a facebook marketplace everybody has it 
you can just go over there and list your item and then put in the price, put in the description, be as descriptive as possible and put in your contact details so that um, potential clients can definitely contact you in making a purchase. Okay, idea number three. All you guys need to do is come up with a lending business, okay? A lending side hustle of which you will be loaning out some of your money to potential clients, okay? Potential clients being your family and friends, okay? Trusted people that you know are good for it, okay? This business is quite risky. I'm not going to lie because uh, yeah, your trusted friends or family members might not pay you back okay but it has worked for me so i've loaned out some money in order to at least be able to raise capital in that way the interest that you will be getting from loaning out that money for say for example you loan out five thousand rands okay for example and then um maybe you charge interests of around 20 to 30 percent you can pretty much go in. some people even go higher but that's that's just crazy i'm not for high interest so i think reasonable amounts like 15 to 30 percent is pretty much what i call reasonable per month okay so a person loaning an amount say for like five thousand rands and maybe you've loaned it out for like maybe let's say 20 percent that's a whole thousand rands that you'll be getting at the end of the month after 30 days you just made yourself a thousand rands okay guys that's pretty much the most easiest quickest way to make that money so that's pretty much what i was doing pretty much all of last year i was um what's this micro lending if should we call it that way lending to family and friends and it brought in quite a good significant return of money that helped sustain me and also helped me to pay say for example applying for my pcc which is the police clearance certificate um paying for sakwa you know those documents of which i will be making a separate video on all the documents that are required to apply to teach overseas idea number four basically get a loan okay i know you're thinking wait wait wait, wait. i know she didn't just say a loan. yes get a loan and i'm not talking about a loan in terms of um going to a traditional bank and trying to borrow the money well if you can definitely do that but unfortunately i know like we're saying most people are unemployed or they are low income earners and probably don't qualify for a loan so this idea i'm throwing it in specifically for people who are trying to move abroad to teach english as a foreign language okay if you pretty much do not have the time to be implementing all the other ideas that i shared then yes getting a loan might be your best possible option to quickly um getting whatever it is that you need to get even though i'm not advising that you go out and make a loan but hear me out hear me out because loans are different okay there's what we call a productive debt and a consumptive debt so the difference is the other one is a bad debt and the other one is a good debt so i do know there's many people in our suffers group who have been um seeking uh, finances or some some place where they could qualify for a loan to be able to fund their move abroad okay this is specifically also for them that there is a company that i personally use it's called b-e-e-t-e-f-l okay so that's the company b b tefl b tefl i think that's pretty much how it's said so that company pretty much funds um what's this unemployed people or low income earners okay that might not have the money to be able to fund their move abroad and they helped to fund me so that i was able to buy the things i needed to move abroad okay maybe you might not have the funds for a flight ticket of which i found myself in that similar situation so i applied for uh, funding and guess what i qualified because what i was unemployed and another thing was that i had already um, was this, received my visa so i was able to send that through to them they uh, verified the information and i qualified i was able to qualify for an amount of around eight thousand rands which really really helped me so much so i was able to purchase uh bags and also like groceries and things i needed 
for my move abroad so that debt is pretty much what i call a productive debt because now i was using those funds to help me move abroad for a job which i had secured so that money can really assist you a lot in a limited time okay because not everybody has the time to be um, um, implementing the ideas that i mentioned they probably got the job now and they need to leave now so i will list the company's details in the description box down below where you guys can definitely contact um the owner of the company and speak to him and find out how the process works okay and i have another bonus idea for you guys um borrow from your friends and family you know what if there is something or a goal that you need to attain and like i said you don't have the time borrow from friends and family if they can assist you because again you have secured a job you will be working and you'll be able to pay that money back okay so don't suffer alone in silence in terms of oh how am i gonna get this money or what no reach out to friends and family ask guys ask and thou shall receive you know what i mean get this money and do whatever it is that you need to do but just make sure you pay it back okay and disclaimer guys i am in no way a financial advisor okay and this post is not sponsored at all so this is pretty much me sharing my own ideas uh, based on what i used and my own personal experience okay so they might work for you or they might not even work for you okay because every individual and case is different Okay, so this is just me sharing my ideas that worked for me and that I used, okay, especially with the ideas with high risk. It might work out, it might not work out. So again, proceed with caution, okay. So if you found value in this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and also don't forget to hit the red subscribe button right down at the bottom and also turn those post notifications so that you get notified every time i upload a new video okay guys if you guys have any other ideas that have worked for you and that you love to share with the community please leave them down in the comment section we're interested to know and share ideas that might help the next person okay if you'd like to see more videos on how to make money online you can watch this video over here or you can also watch my vlogs on how i moved to south korea right over here okay guys and i will definitely see you there let's go